Welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have Serbia against Brazil. My name's Peter Drury, and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium, and I've been hit by it too. Strains of the national anthem of Brazil. Serbia proudly line up for their national anthem. We can have a look at them now. the whistle played out to the wing now here's the through ball he comes flying in great effort he flew in with courage and he really threw himself at that one. Just a little more accuracy was all it needed. Well, that should set them on their way and get into a nice rhythm. The early signs are very encouraging now. Some astute defending to ensure they got no further. He ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. Now the pass. Danger averted for now. Looks to slip it through. Played into the middle. Brave effort, total commitment. I just thought it was great effort all around him, and he did so well just to get his head on the ball. to get his efforts away before it had been closed down, but he could have sacrificed a little power then for a bit more accuracy. Well, this has been an aggressive attacking start from them. They've been very much on the front foot, and if they maintain this pressure, it's looking very good for them. Passes it through. Keeps everyone guessing really didn't have enough to concern the defence. It's one! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Oh, much more than a, than a routine save for me, and, and yet 
he just coped with, with room to spare. They've played it short. Pass, that's the message there. Cuts it out. Where to from here? It is deadlocked. It's a long forward pass. Tries a through ball. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Great leap! Oh, just needed a better contact. Yeah, they had lots of options in the box there. They've got plenty to chew on at the moment, but no bite. Wide. Looks like a good ball through. Ball swung in. He's there to get rid. The referee's awarded a free kick. That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. A oh, glorious footwork! Looks to bypass the midfield. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Tries the route one option. Well positioned to make that interception. Spoon forward. Now the pass. Oh, that's neat. Looking to shoot. And he's there to hoof it away. Looks to slip it through. He's pinged one through here. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Tries to get it forward quickly. Out to the left it goes. He's picked him out. Chance and shoots. That is wayward. Well, that's the kind of break that can do a lot of damage. It just lacked the finish to be a great counter attacking strike. It was so direct. Ronaldo. Tries a through ball, plays it out to the wing, passes it through, chance to squeeze it through, no, not quite. Played out to the wing, now here's the through ball. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. And the counter is on. Now the pass. It's a fabulous position. Looking to force his way through. A oh, great save. Real class. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. Target. Well, when he struck that, he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Tries 
a long pass towards the front. Gets it upfield. Oh, good interception. Try from distance, gave it a go, but off target. Well, that's an illustration of how good they are on the break. I mean, all the pace and power needed to go at it with, with real vigour then. <laughs> and we hit half-time. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started, nil-nil. <laughs> and the second half gets on the way. Serbia clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Gets up to hit it! It's a goal! The second half sparks straight into life! A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Brazil take the lead. Oh, half-time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Looks like a good ball through. Goalkeeper's ball. Ronaldo. Tries a through ball. Aimed long and direct. Referee's given a throw. something that will make the manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got their leveller. What about that, Jim Beglin? It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew and yet they didn't heed and they've paid the price and deserve to. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Serbia have to make a change here. Goes long and forward. Done very well to intervene. Looks to slip it through. Goes for goal! He's done very well to get to that. That wasn't the easiest of saves by any means, Peter, and I think his instincts were... Well, they were just razor sharp. A 
has a pop! That's got him rattled. That's surely a foul free kick. One. In comes the cross. Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Brazil had players queuing in the box in that situation, and they've still got nothing to show for it. What a complete and utter waste. about singling someone out yeah and if they're going to try and stop him in this fashion Peter um, they're going to really test the referee's patience from here pumps it upfield defense has got rid of that forward it goes tries a through ball is there any support he might not need it goal Brazil and they get themselves in front Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Brazil take the lead. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Pumps it forwards. Who's going to make this theirs? He's made sure that that won't get through to get it forward quickly Brought forward what does he try from here that's a promising run he's making on the right and he's onside thrust towards the front line now the pass Ronaldo, aimed long and direct. Keeper's got good distance on that. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Chip through. to win it back. Yeah, he's fouled him there. He's gone for it! In for the follow-up! Sticks it away! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Brazil could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Here's a clever pass. Oh, the 
question, that's a foul. Oh, that's a booking, always looked it. Field. All the way back and they start again. And it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Away from immediate danger. What a throw in. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. <sighs> the defence can get it clear. Towards the front. And that will be the final act. No joy for the players, nor indeed for the loyal fans. It has ended in defeat. A thoroughly disappointing outcome. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? It can be difficult at times playing in front of your own fans if you're not living up to the expectations. And I think with confidence looking a little fragile at the moment, they were playing not to lose more than trying to win. And I think everything was just a letdown because of that. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and goodbye.